St. Augustine on Florida's historic coast was founded in 1565 by Spanish Admiral Pedro Menendez de Aviles. One can only imagine the quality of the inshore fishing back then. Just a few miles south of the oldest city in the USA, on the Matanza River, away from the hustle and bustle of tourism, one can step back in time and catch a glimpse of how an untouched natural Florida once looked and experience a similar fishery. So sit back and see how it all unfolds as we flip through the pages of the Captain's Log. My man! What's happening, buddy? Dude, I am so excited to fish here. I have launched at this boat ramp so many times and uh, have never fished here. And every time I'm here with my wife, we make the run up to St. Augustine. It's like, babe, we gotta go fishing. Yeah. So here we are finally, and we've been talking about fishing for so long. It's yeah. finally great to get with you and hang out. I can't believe you have been on the water this many times and not had a rod out. You I know, mean, I know it's, it's family time's important, but it's that's a beautiful a, area. It is, it is. So that's why I'm so excited about it. But it is a beautiful morning and uh, nice and calm out. I'm ready to stick some fish. What do you think is going on today? I think we'll uh, we still have some groups of redfish down here. They haven't split up yet. We don't have grass flats in our area, so we're going to be fishing around oysters, um, some sandy drop offs. Nice. And up against some mangrove edges. Oh man, so. all about it. Throwing plastics, steal away some top waters. Should be should be the ticket. Awesome. Yeah. Hey, I'm looking forward to it, man. Let's uh let's hammer down and get it done. What do you say? Let's do it. Right, Oh, look, look at the push it all the way out at two o'clock, coming towards us right down that far bank. There's a, uh, look out left, 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 left. See it? To your right? Yep, yep. <clears throat> Sorry, got stuck in the mud. Nice cast. Come on, hey, eat it, 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 eat it. You swim past it? Yeah, he's to the left of me. I mean, with an overcast morning, you think this top water would be crushing it. Yeah. They're here, there's fish here. We just gotta get one to participate a little bit with this. Flounder just went underneath yeah. us. Oh. <laughs> I wanna see a top uh, a flounder hit one of these top <laughs> Caught on a skip off before. Have you? Oh yeah. That's awesome. Well, when you fell in this shallow. That's true, that's true, yeah. Still on it. I think it just turned off. So. You know, it's just incredible how we're we're in just over a foot of water, and uh, these fish just they just sit there. You don't see them, and then when they do move and you do see them, they can just disappear. Disappear in no water. It's amazing. Unbelievable. Something we've been staring at our whole lives, and it still is unbelievable that they can do it. Yeah. But they do it to us time and time again, right? Good job, Captain. Did you see him come up and just hammer that DOA plug? Man! That's the one we needed right there, brother. Nice. Ready for me to come down? He is smoking. Turn, fish, turn. It's coming on you. There you go. Nice job, Captain. Got 
Come here, girl. A lot of hook set too, right in the corner. My man. Nice. Yes, sir. Thank you, thank you. Look at that. Came up and just hammered that DOA PT7. Oh, what a great, okay. beautiful fish. Nice. Look at the blue in the tail. Single spot on this side, two on the other. Why don't you do the honors for me? Go ahead and use these Danko Premios and get this out of his mouth nice and easy. Perfect. Right out. Just look how thick. What do you say? He's right in, right inside the slot or maybe just over, but the power this fish had when he came up and hammered it and then took off. That giant tail on the redfish in this shallow water, they generate so much power and they can't go down. All yeah. they can do is go out. Yep. So you feel all of that. It's a great fight. Absolutely. Thank you, Mr. Redfish. Look at there. Gone. Nice. Hey, Jake. Excellent. Fantastic Thank job. You, sir. Thank yeah. you. Put me on him, Cap. This is Captain Jonathan Moss with your tackle box tip. Today I want to talk about walking the dog with the topwater lure. Specifically, this is the DOA PT7. It's real simple, guys. Cast that lure out, and as you begin your retrieve, you're going to be, what I like to say, knocking on the door. Your wrist is in a motion as if you were actually knocking on someone's door. I'm pushing my wrist forward allowing that rod tip to go left to right, side to side, and that lure is gonna do the exact same thing, that same exact motion. So when you're out on the flats, give that walk the dog technique a try. You'll see it, it catches fish, redfish, trout, snook, they love it. Even catch tarpon on as well. Tight lines, guys. The Captain's Log is brought to you by Danko Pliers, Florida Fishing Products, Icon Coolers, Costa Sunglasses, Skinny Water Culture, Traeger Grills, East Cape Boats, DOA Lures, Temple Fork Outfitters, Go Castaway Fishing Charters, New Wave Taxidermy. There he is. There he is. Nice job, Captain. No, I was feeling. I try to turn. I was feeling those submerged tree limbs. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Look at the color on that fish. Just bouncing around, just like we were bass fishing in structure. Yeah. And he came up and just grabbed it, and he ate it super soft. He didn't come up and hammer it, just super soft. Kind of gummed it in, and just was gonna go back home. He thought he had one. Thought he fooled one. Look how blue he is. His tail's lit up. Come here, buddy. Nice. Perfect. I mean, just inhaled that. Guess we picked the right color too, huh? I don't think it would have mattered too much to that one. He was hungry. He was hungry. We got that. Oh, look at there. Oh, yeah. Pretty fish. Down. There Down. you go. Yes, sir. Nice job, Captain. Good hey. cast. I got to get one of those for you, brother. Yeah, man. Thanks, man. Love catching me. Some redfish out on the flats. And you know, just like you had mentioned, they get up into these sticks, these submerged pilings. What is it? I'm guessing this is old uh, mangroves. It's just old, old mangroves. Yep. Broken up from yep. hurricanes or whatnot. Sure is. And you and, can see them just hanging they, out. They lay right in them. And yeah. You don't make those, the right cast. Like I said, I threw in there. I could feel the the structure. I could feel the limbs. And then he just swam out and grabbed it. He didn't hit it hard. He just came up and ate it. And it's like, oh, I'm going back in. As when I went for the next twitch. Oh, there he is. 
And that's another great tip for anglers out there is, you know, using this braided line, getting away from monofilaments. Which some guys still are using. You feel everything. You need a nice sensitive rod and that braid line. You feel everything you're going Absolutely. over. Absolutely. Absolutely. Hey, let's catch another one. Let's do it. That was definitely a fish that came off that island. <laughs> he hit it in the boat. I was lifting my hands up, to, you know, just to make the next cast, and he hit it right at the boat. Perfect. Nice job, Kevin. Yes, sir. Nope. There he is. No. There he is. Look at that. There's Time's our flounder. <laughs> How about the northeast slam then, huh? I'm going looking for that one. Plates the slam. Ooh. Look at there. What a cool fish. Let me open that bale so we can see them. You know what's really cool about these fish? I know you know, but when they're born, they have an eye on either side. Yeah, they look like a normal fish. Yeah. Like a normal minnow. And then as they mature, that eye rolls over, and both of those eyes will be up on top of their head. They lay flat on the bottom, and when that bait comes by, they come up and grab it. I've never asked a marine biologist, but all I can assume is that, you know, they just to develop an egg or what, you know, as a as a larva to fry, they have to develop that way, and then Mother Nature has them morph into what they are there. Very cool fish, and they have a mouth on them. There he goes, go. Hey, Good job, man. You got that slam, brother. It's awesome, right? Got the redfish, the trout, and the flounder. They don't have to be giants. They just got to be all species, right? Yes, sir. It's awesome. Good but, job. You know, that's it right there. You just said it. They don't all have to be giants. Just going out and catching fish, man. That's what I live for. It's what it's right. about. So. The pursuit, like you said before, man, if we can just get out there and find them, it's so much fun. Yes, sir. So much fun. All right, I'm going to pull down here. There he is. Got him. Nice. Mm. That's a better fish. Better fish. Really yeah. nice red fish. Yeah, it is. All right, watch your balance. You want me to power pull down and come get yeah, it? Yeah, go ahead and power pull down and put the brakes on this fish. Oh, you gotta love red fish in shallow water. Good stuff, man. <laughs> gonna keep it away from this tree over here. There we go. You got it? Yep. Right, you pick up. There you go. It's, it's coming on me. Good fish. Really nice fish. We just had to eat right beside us, too. Coming at you. Got him, baby. Nice. Look at there. And just like the other fish, he didn't come up and hammer it. He just right. comes out from the point, sucks it in, and boom, he, he it. takes off. You see all the bait we have today, right? They're just flooding right through here. So they know they pop up, grab one, go right back to where they were hiding. Yep, yep. They don't have to chase them down. They're, they're just coming right they past just, them. They just ambush, get Places. ready, and then do their eat, and then go right back to where they were so they can get another one. Yeah, down here, this part of Flagler County, these fish really act more like a snooker bass. Whereas a lot of places like, you know, off the oyster bars, they're hammering baits, but around these deadfalls, they just pick it up and go right back. Beautiful. Feels so good to be on this end of the skiff, catching quality redfish like that. Blue tail. Gone. Yes, Happy sir. Fish. Great job. Thank you, sir. Thank Fun you. Fun stuff. You're welcome. I love it. Love it. There he is. There's our grand slam, baby. <laughs> Look at that. 
Heck yeah, man. You called it. Hey, throw it out in the middle. Boom. The next cast. Wow, Jim, look at that. He inhaled that bait. I mean, he wanted it. There's no denying he wanted that bait. This goes to show Mark can design a good bait, right? DOA bait. DOA definitely makes some quality baits. There we go. Grand slam with that trout, redfish, flounder, and the snook. The old wine cider. It's a great day in the water. And the patented thumb sucking release, right? Thumb sucking release, that's right. So there, buddy. Thanks for playing. Nice. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> you said it. Throw it down the middle. I literally had just asked, okay, so we're working these edges, we're working the points. Hey, Jonathan, throw one down the middle. Boom, right on. Fish on, baby. That was awesome. Awesome. Jim. Thank you. You're welcome, what man. What a great day. You know, I tell you, I mentioned it when we first got on the boat this morning, I have launched here in Palm Coast, running up this river up north to St. Augustine several times. And uh, one of my favorite places to just come in a line, but I've never fished here. And today, man, you put us on the fish. You knew exactly where they were going to be, what they were eating. Thank you. What a great day. Uh, you're welcome. It, it turned out great. The weather was great. We had a nice overcast morning. We were able to start with the top waters. Absolutely. Uh, go to some soft plastics after that. Ended up getting Grand Slam. And let's talk about that top water, that explosion uh, on the surface. That is why we throw top uh, water. Uh, it's just so exciting. You know, we had uh, we had several blow ups on them. We finally got one to just not just smack it or short strike it but to inhale it and hit yeah, the thing. Yeah. And uh, he didn't just hit it, he hit it to eat it, to yeah. kill it. Yeah, oh yeah. And it was awesome, oh I love it. And then we switched over to the um, the jerk, the soft jerks. Yeah. We got the flounder, the snook, uh, a few more redfish, the trout. trout the yeah. trout that ate right at my feet as yeah. I was lifting it out of the water. Yeah. Just a, a great, great day. Yeah. And you've been guiding here for? Uh, 10 years. 10 years, yeah. awesome, good for yeah. you. Yeah, lucky, lucky to grow up in this area. Um, and even even more blessed to be able to share this water with you know visitors or locals, which is that, awesome. That's probably my favorite part of being a guide and a full-time captain is being able to share, you know, home for us right. and these experiences with with people who I mean, are coming down to visit, have never seen this, never seen a redfish, never experienced uh, the fight or the eat of a redfish, and oh, I love it. every single day we can do that. Just and just, and even locals, yeah, locals that have never seen what we get to see every day. I've known people that go fishing with me that have lived here 15 years and didn't know how much water we had. Right. You know, right. So having the technical polling skips, being able to get in the back country um, and get on these fish, it's just, we're blessed to be able to do it. Yes, sir. Hey, thank you again. It was a pleasure. My pleasure. You're welcome. I can't wait to go fishing with you again. Let's do it. Oh. <laughs> here lies Jack. <laughs> Trying to get the perfect hook set. <laughs>